Hello guys and welcome to a brand new edition of the Joe Ross 2K9 channel. Guys, I'm going to be talking about everything and everything about SummerSlam. And uh, yep, we're just going to go straight into it. This will be a full length video. This will contain all the matches in the card and also the pre-show match for the United States Championship. A lot of people don't didn't review that, so I'm going to review that as well. Um, so guys, we're going to go straight into it. Let's check out the full match card. So, guys, like I was saying there, um, the United States champion, Santino Morella, was on the YouTube pre-show against Antonio Cesaro. Um, he was accompanied by Oksana, and uh, Ant Antonio Cesaro won that match. Um, they've been really, he was a, a major indie wrestler, and they really wanted to push all the main indie wrestlers, you know, like the likes of CM Punk, you know. Daniel Bryan, it just goes to show you that they are pushing the indie circuit very much so. Um, so, yeah, you know, I'm really glad that Santino lost the belt. I wasn't very happy with him. I think he should have lost it ages ago. So, we're going to go to um, the next match that was in the card. This was the very first match that happened, which I personally think was a disgrace. This was Chris Jericho against Dolph Ziggler. The reason why I think it's a disgrace is that I honestly thought this would be in the mid or at least near the end of the card. Not expecting it to be the main event, but I'm just saying, you know, Chris Jericho and Dolph Ziggler, this was the main reason why I watched this pay-per-view. This match was really, really good. I loved it. Um, I really hope this isn't Chris Jericho's last match. I really hope he continues um, with World Wrestling Entertainment, and uh, I really hope that they continue with this feud. This match was really good. Chris Jericho um, eventually won, um, which was really weird because I really thought Dolph Ziggler was going to win. So it was really, you know, I really didn't expect that. But like I said, you know, WWE usually don't do the unexpected, which is pretty good, you know, provided that they don't mess it up completely. But yeah, Chris Jericho ended up winning it. And uh, the next match I'm going to talk about is the tag team champions, Kofi Kingston and R-Truth against the prime time players. Um, uh, Kofi and Kingston and R Truth won. Not really happy about that. I really wanted the prime time players to win because the prime time players have been pushing for a uh, you know they've been pushing as a legitimate tag team. A lot of people weren't didn't really like them, but I have to say you know the prime time players I think should have won the tag team champions. Uh, ch the championships. So uh, Kofi Kingston and R Truth, they uh they won the match. Uh, so you know very um not really happy about that to be perfectly honest. But I think they are trying to push because R Truth and Kofi Kingston really don't have a lot to do. I mean you, I mean it's unfortunate R Truth was you know he was in the main event. They bumped him off the main event, which I think is a disgrace. So really um you know. Kofi Kingston and R-Truth end up winning the Tag Team Champions. The next match I'm going to talk about is the Intercontinental Championship, The Miz versus Rey Mysterio. I really like this match. It was a very fast-paced match. Um, it wasn't too quick, you know. Um, Miz kept the pace down, to, to, you know, to a T. I think it was very good the way, you know, the back, back and forth. Um, this match could have went either way. Rey Mysterio um, ended up... Uh, he basically the six one nine Rey Mysterio went to hit it, uh, went in the the top corner jumped completely missed. Um, Miz wanted to go for the uh, skull crushing finale. It turned into a small package. Uh, Miz throws him into the corner, and then Miz hits him with the uh, skull crushing finale. And Miz is still your intercontinental champion. I'm really happy about this. Um, I really didn't want Rey Mysterio to win it. Um. Because I think Miz deserves more of a push, and seeing as he's being the actor in the Marine, I think he needs gold around him. Like so, the next match I'm going to talk about is Kane versus Daniel Bryan. Kane has become very relevant ever since he returned. Ever since he's finished his feud with John Cena, he's become almost irrelevant. Um, Daniel Bryan beat Kane via uh basically pulling up the tights and rolled up. Uh, one, two, three. Daniel Bryan won that match. Um. Not too happy about it to be honest with you. Uh, I really think Kane should be facing uh, a, a face. That's in my opinion. And by the looks of it, they're still going to continue this feud, which I don't really like. 
Um, so Daniel Bryan runs away. Kane completely goes ape shit. He completely throws a ring backstage, pushes a few people, and yeah, that was really the end of that match. Um, now we're gonna go straight into the World Heavyweight Champion Sheamus versus Alberto Del Rio. Um, the thing is about this match is that Alberto Del Rio hasn't become legitimate. And what I mean legitimate is, yeah, granted, WWE are pushing him. But he doesn't have that direct push as a heel that, you know, Chris Jericho has. Because when you know when Chris Jericho's a heel, he's a proper heel. Alberto Del Rio, I mean, this the storyline's really stupid because all it is is over a, a banged up car. And it wasn't even broken. It was, you know, a few things that were thrown on it. And, yeah, it's, I don't particularly, I don't particularly invest a lot in the World Heavyweight Championship. But Sheamus ended up winning it. Um, Alberto Del Rio um, and Sheamus were in the ring. Uh, Ricardo Rodriguez grabs the shoe, th tries to throw it to uh, to Alberto Del Rio. Alberto Del Rio misses the catch. Sheamus grabs the shoe, bang, one, two, three. Um, then Alberto's foot hit the bottom rope, clearly, and. Yeah, that caused a lot of con you know, controversy. So Sheamus won the match nonetheless. So guys, the next match I'm going to talk about is the WWE Champion CM Punk versus John Cena versus Big Show. At the very start of this match, I was really concerned because Big Show did have a lot of action. Big Show was throwing them about like a wet lattice, like you know, he was throwing them about left, right, and center. It was really. Big Show was on top of his game, I have to say. He wasn't really, you know, the usual Big Show when he just plows in and, you know, he completely, you know, destroys the vibe of the match. Big Show did generally look the dominant person in this match. Um, it was very brief because it was more CM Punk and Big Show and then it's John Cena and Big Show and then CM Punk, Big Show and John Cena and Big Show. It wasn't all three of them collaborated together, if you, if you get what I mean. Um... So, John Cena basically lifts the big show, goes for an AA, smacks him with the AA. Next thing you know, CM Punk fucks him over the um, the ring. CM Punk gets the pin, one, two, three, and CM Punk is still your WWE champion, which I predicted it would happen. A lot of people are saying, oh, John Cena's going to win. Oh, he has to face The Rock. I'm saying it right now. CM Punk will face The Rock at the Royal Rumble. There is no way, but I'll give you an example, they're talking about the amount of days CM Punk has been champion. My prediction is CM Punk will be the longest reigning champion. That is what I think that they will do, because CM Punk has been champion for a long time. Looking at the card here, who could you honestly give a WWE Championship to? I wouldn't give it to John Cena, perfectly honest with you, because I think... If John Cena was WWE Champion, then they would have to face The Rock, and they'll think, you know, I think people want to see something different. They want to see CM Punk giving the mega skills to The Rock. That's what people want to see. What I'm very disappointed in is the fact that they gave the WWE Champion once again, and Cole amazingly um, put this out there, the WWE Champion CM Punk has not been invented since December. December, yeah, it's a disgrace, and I think, you know, granted Triple H and Brock Lesnar was a main match, but the WWE Champion needs to be the main event, and that's that, That's what it all boils down to, so the next match is the one we've all been waiting for, Triple H versus Brock Lesnar, this match at the start was very slow paced. I didn't like the real pace of the match, but like I said, it did pick up once again. Brock Lesnar was doing a few moves over and over and over again, but um, it was very fast, pa uh, fast paced. I really, I wanted Brock Lesnar to win. My my mind said Triple H. My heart said Brock Lesnar. Um, Triple H, but I did not think Triple H would lose by via submission. Triple H, um, Triple H ended up going for the pedigree to Brock Lesnar. Um, Brock Lesnar grabs the Kimura, uh, gets him in the hold, and snap. As soon as he snaps his hand, uh, Triple H has no alternative but to tap out. Um, a lot of people saying this is the end of 
Triple H is um, this is the end of Triple H's uh, you know his career. No, it's not not by a long shot. Triple H will be back, I think, at uh, at Survivor Series, and he will face Brock Lesnar again. So guys, this is Joe Ross 2K now. And also guys, I just want to say, please subscribe to uh, Enter the Arena US. Please subscribe to my channel. Please comment. Please follow me on Twitter. And this is Joe Ross 2K9 signing out.